Distinguished guests, eminent speakers and participants, ladies and gentlemen, I extend my warmest welcome to all our friends who have come to participate in the Conference on Mindful AI, Just Laws, Better Lives, jointly hosted by Anand and Anand and JSW School of Law. I really wanted to be a part of this very significant conference, but however, I am unable to be with you today. I extend my deepest gratitude for the dedication and effort that has made this gathering possible. I am overwhelmed by the remarkable support we have received from our co-host, Mr. Praveen Anand G. Anand and Anand, and speakers who have joined from Bhutan and beyond. Your presence here reflects your commitment to supporting Bhutan and the law school to become a global destination where meaningful dialogue and exchanges can flourish. I am confident that your collective wisdom will make the conference truly meaningful and impactful. We live in an age where technology is advancing at an unprecedented pace. Artificial intelligence has become one of the most transformative forces of our time. It carries the promise of solving problems once thought unsurmountable, from advancing healthcare and climate solutions to transforming education and governance. Yet, as AI offers new possibilities, it compels us to pause and reflect on what it truly means to be a human in an age where machines can imitate our reasoning, our creativity, and perhaps even our emotions. This is why this conference is very timely. It is precisely through such collaboration and collective wisdom that we can hope to address the defining challenges of our time. This conference is not only about technology. It is about the values, laws, and wisdom that must guide it. Together, we must reflect on technology's role in shaping governance, its influence on justice, its power either to uplift our shared humanity or to deepen existing divides. Such choices must be steered by law, informed by ethics, and enriched by wisdom. Above all, AI and technology must remain in the service of humanity. Today, Bhutan stands at the threshold of this technological transformation. We are not merely observers of global change. We are active participants seeking to adapt and integrate these tools into our national journey. While building digital capabilities in our education system and government frameworks, we also seek to embrace AI in a way that strengthens our environment culture and our collective well-being, despite the huge challenges it comes with. For us, this path is guided by the timeless wisdom of our kings. His Majesty the Fourth Drukyalpo gifted the world the vision of gross national happiness, reminding us that true progress must be measured by the happiness and well-being of all people. In this age of AI, that message resonates more deeply than ever. Today, His Majesty Jikmi Gessa Namgyal Wonchu's vision of the Gelipu Mindfulness City is a bold initiative that reimagines urban life as a balance between technology and sustainability. Such a vision reminds us that progress is not solely about building cities or advancing technology, but rather about shaping societies where innovation lives in harmony with humanity and where growth is guided by wisdom, ethics and our care for our environment. Bhutan aspires to remind the world that progress is most meaningful when rooted in human values and that technological advancement and timeless human values can move forward together. In this, we are not alone. Our efforts are joined by global voices through such conferences. It is how all of us work together and envision a future guided by mindful AI and just laws for the betterment and advancement of societies. 
Tashitele and thank you.